Yeah, thanks for coming, guys. It really means a lot. Yeah, I'll see you later. Well, that went well. Better than I thought, actually. You know, for how small this place is and for how many people were here, it didn't feel that crowded. Huh. But of course, first I have to clean this mess up. I will hate myself in the morning if I wake up to this. <laughs> oh. Who is that? Maybe somebody forgot something? Coming, I'm coming. You know, if you forgot something, you could have texted it. Oh. Hi. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought you said you couldn't make it. Oh, um, well, the party's over. <laughs> Everyone kind of just left, so... You came to give me something? What? Oh my gosh, you didn't have to get me anything. You saw it and thought of me? It's a mini succulent. Hey, I am not that small. Take that back. Okay, fine then. Since you won't take it back, you're not allowed in my new apartment. That's right. You heard me. Turn around and go home. <laughs> mm, well, there is one way I'll let you come inside. You, mister, are now officially on cleaning duty. <laughs> you don't mind? Okay, well, then, you may now enter my humble abode. And by humble, I really mean it. Thanks. I spent, like, almost a month finding the right pieces for this place. The couch, the coffee table, the art pieces. Yeah, all my hard work paid off, I guess. Oh, right, the plant. Um, here, let me take it. In my room? <laughs> I'll be right back. Hey, I never said you could come with. You stay here and continue cleaning. Well, you can start by putting the wine glasses in the sink. <laughs> Did you just call me ma'am? Okay, wait, I kind of like that. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, and those glasses better be in the sink by the time I'm finished finding a cozy spot for this little guy. You know, I'll admit, it is kind of cute. I didn't know you had such a green thumb. You found it on the street? What do you mean? You got it on the street like you found it just sitting there on the sidewalk? You gave me an abandoned sidewalk succulent? Oh, you got it from a guy selling plants on the street. Yeah, that would make more sense. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess you could say it's been quite a long night. Well, you know, socializing for too long drains me. Uh-uh, not so fast. I didn't say you could go. We're not done cleaning yet. Um, how about I get containers for the leftover snacks, and you put the trays in the sink? Yeah, well, after that, we'll pretty much be done. I mean, all I'd have to do is wipe down the table and vacuum a little, but that won't take long. This place is so small. Hey, I actually want to show you something when we're done. 
don't ask questions. Just trust me. You're gonna love it. Okay, and now my place is back to the way I intended it. You can see it even better now. No, this isn't what I wanted to show you. Didn't I just say to stop asking questions? Okay, so then don't ask another one and just follow me. Ta-da! What do you mean, this is it? Yeah, this is it. Isn't it cool? Well, I don't care that your building also has a rooftop. Mine is way better. I don't have to see your rooftop to know that. Okay, still not condensed? Come here. See? Look at your face. That, my friend, is a face of pure amazement. I know, isn't the view amazing? I can basically see the entire city from here, and I get a view of the water. Yeah, I got really lucky to find this place. I mean, it's not perfect, but as far as first apartments go, it's not too bad. Do I have other plans this weekend? Um, dude, this was my plan for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a one social event per weekend kind of girl. <laughs> God, don't even remind me. The amount of mind-numbing, soul-crushing company happy hours we're gonna have to start going to. It's like, you mean to tell me that we spent four years working for a degree just to go into the corporate world and sit and listen and pretend to care about people's lame vacation stories while trying not to be awkward but still come across as professional in a crowded bar where it's way too loud to hear anybody and... Oh yeah, I'm definitely excited, couldn't you tell? That's right. It's all starting on Monday. Are you excited? What do you mean? Eh. <laughs> Didn't you get placed on the exact team you wanted? That should count for something, right? Uh, no. I got put on my second choice team, but it's still something that interests me, so I can't complain too much. Yeah, well, we're technically at the bottom of the food chain, so we can expect to be treated like interns all over again. But, look on the bright side. We get to actually live here, and we're close to the rest of our friends, so it's definitely a plus. You know what? I've been thinking about that, too. Like, I love you guys and everyone else, but... My only friends cannot be people I also work with. I mean, this city is huge. There's tons of ways to make new friends. Like going to farmer's markets on the weekend, or using Bumble BFF, or... <laughs> Yes, Bumble has a friend feature. Actually, it's like a whole separate app, but same thing, whatever. Well, yeah, of course you wouldn't know that. Because that's not how guy friendships work. Okay, be honest, when was the last time you intentionally set out to make a new friend? See? I think it's definitely more of a girl thing to seek out friendships. Don't guys kind of just, like, become friends with each other circumstantially or, like, by talking about sports or whatever? 
and there's nothing wrong with that, but I just think it's interesting how everyone navigates friendships differently, that's all. Well, I mean, yeah, it is a bit contrived, but hey, you do what you gotta do, right? What do you mean, speaking of Bumble? <laughs> what about it? Going on dates? Oh, absolutely not. I hate using the apps to find guys. Yeah, I was on Hinge like a year ago, but... I had a thing with this one guy for like a month, and then we realized we weren't really that compatible. I don't know, we just had different goals, different views on life. Yeah, that's all. Oh, and he was definitely more of the outdoorsy type, and I am definitely not that. <laughs> well, sue me for liking air conditioning and sleeping in a real bed. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm a bit high maintenance, but I can't help it. That's the way I was born. No, I haven't used the app since I ended things with that guy. But in defense of the apps, not all the weirdos are on there. Well, I once met this guy at a bar, and we went on like two dates. And he admitted to me that he really... Oh, God, I can't even say it. Okay, okay. He told me that I have, and I quote, the most perfect feet he's ever seen. Mm-hmm, yeah, I know. He had a foot fetish. I feel like I've told you this before. Hmm, well, now you know. Don't even start with that, unless you're hiding a secret foot fetish too. I mean, they are kind of cute, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I guess I haven't been on a date in like over a year. Wow, honestly, really doesn't seem like that long since I've just been crazy busy since then. Do I want to go on dates here? I mean, yeah, probably, but it's not something that's on the top of my list of things to do, you know? Oh please, I will not have a guy asking me out every weekend. And even if that were to happen, it wouldn't really matter. Because there's kind of already a guy that I like, so dating around wouldn't really do much for me anyways. Do you want to go back inside? It's getting kind of cold out here. Oh no, no, you're not intruding at all. I'm actually really enjoying your company. Well, you know, they say it's good luck if an introvert doesn't mind your energy. Mm-hmm. It means that that person must really, really like you. I mean, not, not like-like. I mean, maybe like-like. I don't know how other introverts operate, but, um, <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, um, sure, we can sit on the couch. Oh wait, actually, do you want to see my room? Well, you've earned it. You helped me clean, and you gave me a plant. Okay, before we go in, don't judge me. 
it's not completely done yet. There's still a couple of things I need to tie it all together. You promise? Okay, then pinky swear and repeat after me. Well, if you don't want to see my fabulous, amazing, spectacular, out-of-this-world room, then... <laughs> okay, say, I promise to not judge Ethereal on what her unfinished room looks like. Okay, you may now enter. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good now, but it's not done. I just told you that. Well, obviously you can't tell, but I can. Okay, you see this wall here above my headboard? Well, there's nothing there right now. Oh my god. So, I need to find the perfect art piece to go up there to bring the room together. Of course my room is cooler than yours. That's because I'm cooler than you. <laughs> Wait, you haven't seen the best part yet. They're fairy lights. <laughs> yeah, I always like having soft lights in my room. They just make it feel cozier. Well, what if I don't want to sit? Okay, okay, I'll sit. There, I'm sat. Are you happy now? What am I thinking about? Um, how I can't wait for you to leave so I can take a shower and get under these sheets. Wait, wait, no, come back. I was just kidding, I was kidding. And besides, I already admitted to liking your company. Yeah, you're never gonna let that one go, are you? Actually, you were the person I was most looking forward to seeing tonight. Yeah, so when you told me you couldn't make it, it kind of made me sad. I don't know. I just would have been. <sighs> what guy? Oh, the one that I was talking about earlier? The one that I said I like? Oh, no, it's okay. We don't have to talk about this stuff. Okay, well, I can't tell you... Yes, it's someone we both know. Yes, he was here tonight. And now you're guessing. Okay. Nope, not him. Oh, no, not him either. No, no, it's okay. You can stay a bit longer. I know, I just yawned, but it was more of a I'm comfy right now yawn, not an I'm tired, get out of my apartment yawn. <laughs> yeah, sure. Here, maybe we can just lay down for a little bit. And we're also just so exhausted from all that cleaning up we did earlier. Like, I don't know about you, but that ten minutes of cleaning definitely wore me out. <laughs> Stop it, I'm not trying to change the subject. Um, a little over a year now, but I'm not too sure. 
if he likes me back. Because sometimes he seems really into me. And then sometimes he'll just treat me like any other friend. And it's confusing. But I can't help but still like him. I don't know. Maybe he's doing it on purpose just to play games or... I don't know, just for entertainment purposes? No, that's the thing. He doesn't seem like the type of guy to do that stuff to girls. Okay, like for example, we would text and FaceTime each other pretty frequently. Like, not all the time, but, you know, a few times a month. And he would tell me really personal things. And so it felt like we were getting closer. And then all of a sudden, we just stopped talking. Well, I never asked him why, because... I didn't want to come across as obsessive or clingy. I mean, we were never together, so I didn't feel like it was my place to ask him those things. Maybe he just got really busy or met another girl. I don't know. How do you know that? What if there is another girl, and I've just been sitting here daydreaming about him like an idiot this whole time? Well, then why? Why stop talking to me? It doesn't make any sense. Scared of what? Yeah, well, I've never liked a guy as much as I've liked him either, but when you have feelings for someone, you run towards them, not away from them. I mean, I get that his ex cheated on him, but I'm not her, and if he still has trust issues, he can tell me that, and I'd be fine with it. So where does this leave us? I agree. I really, really like you. And there's no point in rushing this. Slow sounds good to me. My hand looks so small in yours. <laughs> it's kind of sweaty. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a fish. No, it's okay. I don't mind. I'm really sorry about what your ex did to you. No, it's not okay. Nobody deserves to be cheated on, especially someone like you. I can't imagine why any girl would do that to you. You're glad she cheated on you. Why would you be happy about that? Oh yeah, I guess if you were still with her, we could not have done that. <laughs> K. 
Can we kiss some more? Remember when we just agreed to take things slow? Well, as much as I'm enjoying this, I don't think making out, laying in my bed this late at night, qualifies under the category of taking it slow. Yeah, I think you should. Mm hmm. Yep. Let me walk you out. At least. I'm really glad we had that talk and cleared things up. Yeah. I definitely needed that. What? What else do you need? Hey, um, can we maybe keep this between us for now? Okay, good. Come here. Mm. Wow, you're a really good hugger. <laughs> and a really good kisser, too. Okay, get out of here before I take my kisses back. <laughs> Good night. <sighs> Finally.